Hi everyone. So sometimes you have a very yeah, interesting situation. So you have here three faces, right? Which are very soft. And in the middle, you have like this edge. And what gives you is this nice puzzle to solve where you have to ask yourself, how do you can fill it this situation? Because as you see, you can't fill it this edge. Um, okay. You can fill it yeah, this edge, but uh, you see it's, yeah, it, it's not what we uh, want and you can't also fill it this and you can't select all of those at the once and fill it that. So we have to do that manually with surface modeling. So below this video, you can just download this project file of only this handle. So you can follow along and do that. Otherwise you will not learn anything. And if you want to learn how to model this whole bottle and many, many, many more tutorials, Check out first link in the description. I launched my plasticity membership where I upload in depth, long tutorials for beginners, intermediates and advanced all for a small monthly fee. So you can check it out if you want and let's dive into this tutorial. So first of all, it's like always when you do a little bit more of complex stuff, you, you have to give the fillets with surface modeling manually because this will give you, you will see it's the best perfect result. So we have to pipe a uh, create a pipe between. So where this edges between those faces and we have to do that everywhere where we have a sharp edge and then we have a lot of holes and then we can patch and loft everything again together. So I really love that. It's a very good practice because the more you do it, the faster it will get. So in this tutorial, because again, I will explain everything in detail. It takes a little bit longer, but if you do it on your own, it gets faster. So select this edge, shift D to duplicate it, and then just press P for pipe. And let's give it here, uh, just for this example, zero, zero, three. And uh, so we can give everywhere the same value and also always select those end faces and extrude them a little bit because everything has to intersect. So now we select those two faces, Alt J to unjoin. So in object mode, we can select this face, shift click this pipe. And if you press Q, bam, you see, now we have a hole. So we have some space to love that in a second, but we have to do that first at all other uh, edges. So the same, select this whole edge here, shift D duplicate, rebuild it this time because we have some curvature and just go two points and just increase the points a little bit. And the same, press P, uh, give it here the same value. So 003, for example, press OK and select this end face and this end face and just extrude that. And now select this face, this face, this face, and this face where we want the hole. And again, Alt J. And you see we have two separate sheets. So just press. So you see we have now this piece here. And again, select it with object mode. Shift click this pipe Q. And delete this curve. And you see we have again some holes. And yeah, what I'm seeing, I did a little mistake here. So first of all, um, yeah, you could give here a pipe, right? But I think this example, if you just have one edge and it's straight, what you can do is just select this face here, control R for me. So for you, it's easy param. So search for the easy param mode uh, function and give it here an extra edge and here the same shift R, uh, easy param, give it here and now just delete those faces because we just need this distance. So I don't know if you're an engineer. <laughs> you can give the distance that you want, but yeah, anyway. So, and this edge, yeah, it would be a better idea if I would give this pipe from uh, before also this edge here. So let's do the same here, shift D and rebuild it, give it a few extra points, press okay, press P pipe and give it zero, zero, three, okay. Select this face and this face and now select this sheet, shift Q, Q and, uh, Keep tools, press T because we need it on this face as well. So select it and shift, press Q and delete it and delete it, delete this curve. Perfect, right? So now you see 
we have so much more space to do yeah, surface modeling and patch that everything. So let's start very simple. Um, we will just use those edges and loft them with G1, right? So now you see we have a nice curvature. So we can do the same here and just go one by one. Loft and that looks also fine. And here as well. So let's give it Okay, so let's give it here because here we have to do the same, but just for the tutorial. So now you see we have already some fillets. And so here it's a little bit trickier and because you can't really loft that because you see you will get something like that. And this is not what we want. So what we want to do is we want to give here an extra edge. So this edge and this edge will be the same length. So then we have a kind of a pentagon. Penta is five, right? So we have kind of a pentagon and this we can patch then and you will see it will be super clean. So select this face and again, control R or isoparam and give it here an extra edge. So now you see it, our edges are shorter, but even we can give it even more space. So control R maybe here. So you see now it's just a little bit of a better distance. So just loft it. And you see, it looks already perfect. And now why we did all that, uh, because otherwise it would be impossible to patch that and press four, join all the sheets, press two, alt click and patch and press tab G1 and guys, voila, it's not 100% perfect, but I mean, but I mean, just to solve that problem in a fast way, this is more than enough. If you want to learn how to create this whole bottle and how to connect everything and all that kind of stuff and many, many more tutorials and one membership, check out first link in the description. I hope I can see you there or in one of my next tutorials. Have a nice day. Bye.